Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Hello and welcome to this video. We are making our way slowly but surely through um, episode seven. This is a good one. Um, I still think episode six kind of edges this one out, but we still got 15 minutes left in the episode. One or two, maybe three more videos um, on my part for it. Um, so let's get into this bad boy. Someone has a thing for creepy circles. But these other ones... I don't know. I still want to know if the, um... Sumerian... Sacred geometry and... Numerology and all that's going to come into play. I mean, we've, we've already had the tie-in with the the astral projection thing um i forgot what they called it um so tannis tannis braun was standing in front of the wall on the dark side of the cabin away from the light i walked up to him he seemed entranced he was just staring at something on the wall lost in thought or contemplation um yeah that's me sometimes well that's me trying to figure out what i'm gonna cook for dinner <laughs> i get lost like I, I'll, I'll open the freezer or something and just get lost and like be scanning like doo, 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 doo. but you know this is a little bit more serious and that's when i saw it oh my god yep that's it's always that pause God. you recognize it yes i've seen this exact same drawing in sebastian torres's bedroom he drew it in black chalk or something in the back of his closet it was smaller than this though sebastian torres didn't draw this and he didn't draw the symbol in his closet either uh-oh might get it might be getting an answer or an answer that leads to more questions more than likely Okay, if Sebastian didn't draw this, who did? Kind of looks like a face. Yeah, um, we'll see. Like I said, this is, it's just so tempting just to let it play, but the, the whole copyright thing with, um, Nobody, not even YouTube, knows how the copyright algorithm works. So, you know, we've got to kind of... Oh! Are you okay? You're kind of freaking me out here. Um, yeah, that happens. Uh, this place is not good. What do you mean? Really? It took it took a psychic to figure that one. I figured that I figured that one out when when you know a kid is found and has no idea how they got there. You know, I figured that one out by myself. Something else is here with us. It's just us and the officers outside. It's so dark. Um, here comes the snake oil salesman or supernatural. The whole X Files stuff going on. Maybe we should leave. It's him. Him who? The face in the drawing? Is it the face on the wall? Give him a second to answer, damn it. Have you seen it before? Tannis? What is it? It's coming. What's coming? And, and, and uh, just, yeah, um, 
We're going to need some explanation here, Tannis. A demon. I went back to the hotel to show Dr. Strand the photos of the crime scene. I thought he'd be as excited about this as I was, but he wasn't particularly impressed. He's a skeptic. A demon? Why does it always have to be a demon? <laughs> I, love, I don't know why that, that question struck me as funny, but it did. It looks like somebody may have been trying to summon a demon. You've seen this before? You see the numbers on the side there? Oh, those are numbers? Yes. Look at the configuration. How they're arranged. Yeah, I'm not sure I get it. Um, I'm, hopefully we'll get an explanation. See how they're placed around and outside the face. Here. It starts here. Strand traced with his finger a pattern on the photo. The numbers were arranged randomly far outside the perimeter of the drawing. You see? I'm sorry, I only see your finger. It's a pentagram. Ah. Yeah, you do your numbers in such a way that if you go in numerical order, they form a pentagram. The face sits exactly in the center of it. That's never a good thing. Oh. You see it now? Yes. It's demonic. That face, it's what's known in ancient literature as an elemental. Yeah. Well, the elementals are not necessarily evil, but, you know. Well, the mythologies that I've read, they're kind of like humans. Some are good, some are evil, some are just assholes, some are tricksters. You know. An elemental? There's so many names for it. Aesog, Akamana, Grigori. Grigori? Yeah. Ori. That sounds familiar. That was the demon Father Vincent claimed to have encountered. We heard it on the tape. Ah, oh, so... Uh, I wonder what, if it has any link to the Gregorian chants, you know. So, oh, this is the same demon? The same archdemon, actually. Maybe. Whoever kidnapped Sebastian has a dangerous obsession with sacred geometry and demonic symbols. I was hoping that that would tie back around. Sacred geometry. Wasn't Simon Reese involved with that? Simon Reese was obsessed with it. So whoever took Sebastian has the same obsession? Apparently. Makes you wonder if we're going to get into the, the astral projection or by location, I think they called it, with Simon Reese abducting the child. That could be interesting. Could you send me these photos? Sure. I'll call Chief Collins and let him know he was right about the religion angle. Interesting. And I made a call of my own. I called Fred Barnes at the Three River State Hospital and asked to speak with Simon Reese. Yeah, we're turn we're, we're we're cranking up we're cranking up the, the suspense. Oh, this great stuff. Hello? Simon, I, I wanna ask you something. Where did you learn all of that sacred geometry? You want to see him too? Mm, no, not really, but you know, I just want to know how you know. I'm just curious. You're not just curious. Okay, um... We f <laughs> Come on, spit it out, girl. Found numbers. On a wall. In California. A pentagram. Just like the ones you drew in your room. See, now this has got that, that, that whole Hannibal Lecter feel. Silence of the Lambs, you know. Using a crazy to catch a crazy. Or in this case, a supernatural crazy to catch a supernatural crazy. I was wondering if you could... It's not a pentagram. Then what is it? Were those drawings in the church? Sorry? Did you find the numbers in a church? What's that have to do with anything? No, it's not a church. Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure. There are many different places of worship. 
Interesting. Now we're now we're pulling in so, so, some some of the Abrahamic religion stuff, some of the pagan religion stuff. So this this is going to get kind kind of crazy real fast. Not this place. Well, somebody was worshiping. Somebody had turned it into some kind of sacred ground. If you could give me some insight into why a kidnapper in another state would want to draw similar symbols, I'd really appreciate it. A kidnapper? The boy in San Francisco? Yeah, that's right. They said on the radio that he was unharmed. Yes. Or was he? I mean, he may have been physically unharmed, but they may have scrambled his eggs between his ears real good. Yes, he's lucky to be alive. Uh, Simon? He's coming. Sorry? He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Uh, Simon. He's coming. Yeah, um, I think we'll go ahead and call this episode here. I think this is a great place to stop especially this episode um wow this 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 episode's turning out to be a hell of a thrill ride now that they've tied it back into episode six Woo! it's it's gonna be some good stuff going on um so until next time be a good human be good to other humans peace